Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over thermochemical equations and what they are and how to write them. So a thermochemical equation is very similar to a normal chemical equation, but it does have something extra. So hopefully you remember the prefix thermo means heat. So when we're looking at a thermochemical equation, we're looking at a chemical equation that includes the heat change that occurs during the reaction. And thermochemical equations do not only have to be chemical changes, they can also be physical changes as well. So thermochemical equations can show chemical changes or physical changes with the heat change that occurs during these changes. So for an example of a physical change would be something like ice melting, so solid water turning into liquid water. There's a few things that we need to know that we have to have in a thermochemical equation. The first is that our equation does have to be balanced. The second is that our equation has to include state symbols, which tell us the phase that each substance is in. And the last thing it has to include the heat change that occurs during the physical or chemical change. And heat change we write using change delta H. H is the symbol for enthalpy, which is the heat of a reaction. And there's a few different types of enthalpy and I will go over those in another video. So let's look at a physical thermochemical equation. If we wanted to look at solid water turning into liquid water or just ice melting, that's a specific type of enthalpy called enthalpy of fusion. So I could write out the thermochemical equation by writing H2O solid yields H2O liquid. So it is balanced. It has state symbols. The only thing I need to add is the heat change or the enthalpy change. So that is added to the right side of the equation, change in H, and this is called enthalpy of fusion, is equal to 6.01 kilojoules. So it takes 6.01 kilojoules to turn solid ice into a liquid. And this is a value you would get from a table. This is not something that you would intuitively know just looking at this equation. And it's not something you would need to memorize either. All of these values for enthalpy changes are tabulated, so you would have access to those on a test or something like that. Let's look at a little bit more complex thermochemical equation. What if I told you that you need to write the thermochemical equation for methane combusting? So the combustion of methane. Remember, combustion is a reaction that happens when something is added to oxygen and it produces H2O and CO2. So if we wanted to write out the thermochemical equation for the combustion of methane, we would write CH4 plus O2 yields H2O plus CO2. We need to go back and add our state symbols. So methane is a gas, oxygen is a gas, water is a liquid, and carbon dioxide is a gas. And then we need to make sure that this is balanced. We have four hydrogens here and only two here. So we need to put a two. And then we have four oxygens on the right hand side. So we need to put a two here. So now it is balanced. Let's check our list. It's balanced. It has state symbols. We need to add our enthalpy change. So change in H and this is a combustion reaction. So again, we would look at a table to find this value and it's negative 890 kilojoules. And let's look for a second. We have 6.01 positive and 890 negative. So one thing that you do need to know is that with an enthalpy change, if it is a negative value, that means it's an exothermic reaction. It's releasing heat. 890 kilojoules of energy was lost to the surroundings. It, it exited the system. If the enthalpy change is positive, that means that heat was absorbed during the reaction or it took heat to make the reaction happen. And in the case of solid ice turning into liquid water, we have to add heat to an ice cube to melt it. 
So it's an endothermic reaction. Heat was gained during the reaction. There's more energy in the product side than in the reactant side. So this is how you write a thermochemical equation. You have to balance your equation, show your state symbols, and show the heat change that occurred and that you would find in a table. I hope this was helpful. I will post a few more videos about enthalpy, so if you have any other questions, make sure and check my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.